hello welcome to my channel my name is jules and today i will be talking to you on something slightly different um today's topic is femininity and christianity uh what the bible teaches us about femininity so um a little disclaimer here you don't have to agree with everything i say you just pick what resonates with you and that is all okay in my previous video, I talked about how femininity goes way beyond physical appearance and more on lifestyle and mindset. The same way a woman can be masculine, also some men can show some feminine qualities. Okay, it just based on environment and just this nurture versus neutral kind of thing. So, um, in our present day. We strive for women empowerment, equality for women and all that. So this has made people be convinced that femininity means weakness. People now look down on virtues like patience, selflessness, self-giving and tenderness. Women end up becoming like men in all things. We have to understand that each gender has its strength and each has its weakness. Proverb 31 talks about a woman who brings honor to her household through her character. Proverb 31, 11 to 12, it reads, Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Which means he will not lack because of her character. The first thing the Bible teaches about femininity is being vulnerable. As women, we have an incredible ability to be soft, sensitive, and vulnerable, coupled with the emotional strength to overcome anything that life throws our way in first peter 3 verse 7 man love your wife in an understanding way as with someone weaker since she is a woman and show her honor as a fellow heir of grace of life so that your prayers will not be hindered this is not saying women are pathetic or a weakling. No. Instead, it means that women are more delicate and should be treated as such. In fact, 2 Corinthians 12 speaks of how um, Christ's power is perfected in our weakness. And when we are weak, then we are strong. So this particular message is directed to both men and women as it paints a beautiful picture of being able to be soft and vulnerable in conclusion to all this women are worthy of protection and those who can overcome their trials and still be soft and gentle is a true feminine woman many people aren't aware that um women who build up walls around their hearts to prevent them from being hurt or being wounded are unconsciously keeping out good things from their life because they are locking pain in their hearts okay this world could be in form of being defensive or being manipulative or simply just trying to avoid relationship the true feminine woman can receive feel express these feelings in healthy ways and have strength in that weakness as opposed to all these fake strengths like putting up this um facade those that wall around your heart another element of femininity is desire to be beautiful this is not solely based on outward appearance and also we are not excluding the fact that outward appearance is not part of it in first peter 3 verse 3 it says your adornment must not merely be external that is braiding of the hair wearing gold jewelry and putting on dresses but let it be the indie person of the heart 
with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit which is precious in god's sight what the bible here is telling us is that um, the true feminine woman is not solely focused on her outward appearance yes it's part of it but the one um that's precious in god's sight is who you are inside which i talked about in my previous video and if you haven't watched it you should watch it um there's a part two for this video if you want me to drop it let me know in the comments so um that's it for this video it's a very very short video um, if you get to this point, thank you so much. Please don't forget to comment, like, and share to a friend or to an enemy. <laughs> and watch out for my next video, which I'll be uploading very, very, very soon.